Today I'm gonna tell you about Black Mountain top five neighborhoods. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nest and Dolls Realty powered by EXP Realty here in Asheville, North Carolina. Welcome back to OG Living in Asheville channel. Now, this channel is all about living, breathing, going to school, having babies, grocery stores, parking, different neighborhoods, different parts of town, different towns around Asheville. So if you want to learn more, click that subscribe button and tap a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. And if you need help figuring out if this is the right area for you, if you need help relocating to the Asheville area, my team and I are happy to help. Our contact information is down in the description. So Black Mountain is one of the most beautiful, charming, elegant, small towns in Western North Carolina. It is located just about 20 minutes outside of Asheville on the eastern side. The population is around 9,000 people. And the great thing about that is that everything is super close. Pretty much all the neighborhoods that I'm going to be talking about in this video are located within three to four minutes from each other, except for one. The first community I want to start with is Paget Place. Paget Place is a new home community that is located just minutes from downtown Black Mountain. Median sales price in Paget Place is $530,000, and it is the most affordable community out of all five communities. This community is five minutes from downtown Black Mountain and about 20, 25 minutes from downtown Asheville. Super close to everything. And it offers brand new homes at a very affordable price. You might think, well, gosh, $530,000 is not really that affordable, but consider this. Median sales price in the whole Black Mountain is in the upper six hundreds. The Black Mountain has always been on a slightly more expensive side and inventory has always been super low in Black Mountain. So anything that comes on the market there goes pretty quickly. So Paget Place. It is a very modest, nothing fancy new home community. Most houses are either one-story houses or two-story houses. A lot of them do look the same and someone might call them cookie cutter homes, but I call them more affordable homes. You don't get a lot of amenities in this community. Again, it offers more affordable living. And typically the more amenities you have in association, the higher price you need to pay in HOA fees. And $50 in HOA fees at Paget Place covers street lights, common area maintenance, management fees, and stuff like that. Now, it is also worth mentioning, and I always want to mention and make sure my clients are aware that all these houses are off-frame modulars. Not to confuse with on-frame modulars. So the difference is that on-frame modular and mobile homes will be viewed as the same thing by your lender, whereas off-frame modular will be the same as stick build you know, if your lender look, is looking at it. So that is the huge difference. I honestly find a lot of off-frame modulars being built at a better quality than some of their stick builds, especially some of their newer stick builds, especially by some of the biggest national builders in, in the area and all over the country. But anyways, those are off-frame modulars, so keep that in mind. Paget Place offers this very tight community feel that is minutes from downtown Black Mountain. And although the houses are kind of sitting very close to each other, you still get a glimpse of the mountains in the backdrop and some really, really nice views. The square footage of those houses varies from 1300s up to 1900s. So you have a good variety of different sizes and different layouts in Paget Place. The next one up is Tudor Croft Community, and boy, could it not be more different than Paget Place. It is also located about five minutes from downtown Black Mountain, but it is a lot closer, or a little closer. I mean, everything is super close there, okay? But it's you can see Lake Tomahawk from the top of Tudor Croft Community. It's so close to Lake Tomahawk that you can actually walk to it from Tudor Croft Community. And the reason I'm mentioning Lake Tomahawk, it's a pretty big landmark in Black Mountain. A lot of people love to live 
right around Lake Tomahawk and they love to use it for recreational purposes. A lot of people just walk around it, run, hike, just go for a dog walk. And it's just a super nice area to, to be around. Median sales price in Tudorcroft is in the low 700, $711,000 to be exact. HOA fees are only $15 a month for now. Now, from my research, I found that the developer has plans for a future pool and a clubhouse, at which time they will estimate the HOA fees to increase to $45 a month. But right now it is $15 a month. How cool is that? Tudor Croft neighborhood offers low maintenance yards. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot to main maintain, uh, to be honest, because each house is literally on the side of the mountain. Some of the best views in the county and underground utilities, which is huge. That include natural gas and spectrum internet. There is not a whole lot available in Tudor Croft right now, just like in the whole Black Mountain. There are only two houses for sale at this moment. And actually, I'm gonna show you one of them in my next video. So stay tuned for that and you will see the inside and what it looks like to live in a mountain community in Black Mountain and have those best views in the whole county. Number three, Cheshire or the village of Cheshire is located kind of on the other side of Black Mountain, of downtown Black Mountain and it's technically outside of city limits but still has Black Mountain address. It is minutes from downtown Black Mountain. You would need to probably drive to get to downtown Black Mountain because it's going to be maybe uh, five minutes by car. But the village of Cheshire has its own little center. It has its own little town center. So to get out of the house, to go for lunch or dinner or go to a store, go to a fitness center, you don't need to go anywhere. You can just cross the road, cross the street, and you are right where you need to be. And so honestly, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, Cheshire or Cheshire. I heard it pronounced two different ways from people who have been here a lot longer than I am and who are Americans <laughs> and English is their first language. If you know, put it in the comments, what is the correct pronunciation, Cheshire or Cheshire? I thought it was Cheshire, but I digress. Cheshire is a combination actually of many different types of properties. They range from single family homes, cottages, tree houses, cabins, townhomes, even duplexes, which I'm gonna show one of them to you in the next video. And all of them are within walking distance to the village center. The community offers not only the convenience of the town center and the fitness center, but also have walking trails and lots of sidewalks along those tree-lined streets. So it's very pretty, it's very picturesque and is super, super convenient. There are actually three different master associations in within the community. One of them is actually across the road, across the street. It's right next to the YMCA, to the fitness center, and it is called Jacob's Cottages. This is exactly where I took my interview with Rick Buchanan at Buchanan Construction a couple of months ago. So you can refer to that video. It's going to be right here and also in the description to check out the home and that whole section of Jacob's Cottages in the Cheshire village. Now, the great thing about Cheshire is that they also allow short-term rentals in, within the community. So if you're an investor or you're looking to buy a second home here in the mountains and you're not going to be here for the rest of the year, maybe, just maybe, it makes sense to use it as your Airbnb and income producing property while you are away. Median sales price in Cheshire is in the mid 700s, but really those prices range and you can pay anything up to a couple million dollars easily in one of those custom lots where you bring your builder and then build a house exactly the way you want it. Community number four is Laurel Ridge. And unlike other communities that I'm talking about today in this video, Laurel Ridge is not super close to town center, to the downtown of Black Mountain or Lake Tomahawk. It is actually quite removed. Well, 
about 10 minutes from downtown Black Mountain, but when you go there, you go through these picturesque rolling hills, through pastures, you see cows, you see pastures on both sides, and you are moving towards the mountain, and then you notice these houses on top of the mountain, on the side of the mountain. When you get there, you realize that that's what it was. It was Laurel Ridge community. HOA fees in Laurel Ridge is $3,390, and that include the security because it is a gated community. And so maintenance of the gate and security, also storm water management, but I mean, that's very typical. It includes your water bill, street lights, maintenance of community lodge, gate, trails, landscaping of common areas. Also includes not only your water bill, but also trash removal. This community has been there for a while and has a lot of properties that are older, quite a bit older. I mean, in fact, they, they look very, very dated, but then some properties are almost new and or brand new. The one on the market right now, it was built in 2020 and is listed at right under $3 million. There's a ton of vacant lots in Laurel Ridge community where you can buy a lot and build your own house. Laurel Ridge community is another one of those communities that allows short-term rentals. Again, that might change. Don't always rely on that. Always have plan B. Now, the internet at Laurel Ridge has not been the best or great even. From just a couple of years ago, um, there was only one provider and the speed was not that great. So keep that in mind. As you start going through the gate and start going up that road, you quickly realize that all those houses perched on the side of the mountain that you see at the bottom as you were driving to the community, you sit in on the side of the mountain, literally, and that road goes up, 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 all the way to the top. So to live in one of those communities, one of those mountain communities, you would need all-wheel drive because those roads can be very dangerous and they're very windy. In some cases, in some parts, they are kind of narrow, it's kind of scary to drive through the community. It's gonna take you a good 10, 15 minutes. And I haven't even driven through the whole community. It took me like 10 minutes to get down. Also, I wanted to mention that when you look at this or any other mountain communities that are sitting on the side of the mountain, you wanna come and visit them at different times of the day. And especially, you know, in the evening when the sun starts going down or in the second part of the day when the sun is on one side of the mountain, you can see how one side of the mountain might be in a complete shade. It doesn't have no sun. It's very dark and kind of cold in wintertime. I'm sure in summertime it's, it feels nice. But uh, the other side of the mountain has all the sun. So it just something to keep in mind. It might not be important to you, but something I always want to mention to people looking and might not um, notice those things right from the start. While the inventory is super low in all of these communities, Laurel Ridge community offers a ton of vacant lots. I mean, of course, a lot of them are gonna be super steep, almost scary to even stand on. In fact, you can't even stand on them. You can maybe stand on the edge and pray that you're not gonna fall down <laughs> to your death, but that's just the reality of living on the side of the mountain. The next one, the last one, is the settings of Black Mountain. The settings of Black Mountain is located just a couple of minutes from the village of Cheshire and on the other side of downtown Black Mountain and on the other side of the highway. It is a private gated community nestled in the mature forested mountainside preserve in Western North Carolina. It is super convenient to, of course, nearby town of Black Mountain as well as the city of Asheville. It's probably gonna take you 20 minutes to get to downtown Asheville, maybe five minutes to downtown Black Mountain. HOA fees at the settings of Black Mountain is $1,500 a month. <laughs> and it offers the access to the clubhouse, tons of trails, security, gate, and all those good things. Median sales price in the settings of Black Mountain is $1.8 million. So I'm talking about upscale living, 
private community, luxury community in one of the most expensive towns in Western North Carolina. Settings of Black Mountain also offers underground utilities and fiber optic internet throughout the community, which is great because because from my experience, for 99.99% .99 of people, internet is a deal breaker these days. And because it is located on another side of the mountain, a lot of these properties have amazing, amazing views. The houses in the settings of Black Mountain are bigger, more luxurious, more expensive, of course. And that is what I wanted to end this video with. There is a lot of vacant lots for sale in the settings of Black Mountain. So if you're not finding what you're looking for, if something is not quite your fit, you can buy vacant lots and build on the side of the mountain and enjoy those beautiful mountain views and access to Black Mountain, Asheville and all the amenities. So in the next couple of videos, I am going to show you what it's like to live within walking distance to downtown Black Mountain, as well as few homes from these top communities that I just talked about in this video. So stay tuned, click that notification bell so that you know when the next video is up and I will see you next time.